Attackers use new methods to hide their code from plain sight, which makes an analyst or other analyzing software to make it difficult to identify what is being executed. So Dosfuscation is a method of hiding the code using the Windows cmd.exe. Let's see how to decode this. Before uh, talking about DDoS fuscation, I'm going to show you some command examples how command line codes can be obfuscated. So we'll take a simple command like uh, ipconfig, which will show you the IP information of your computer, and it works like this. The first technique in obfuscation is insert additional characters. So there are some special characters. You can insert the create character, and if you can see, uh, if I run this, and you can see it will run the command. Now this create character is called escape character in DOS. So it will actually ignore this character is there, but it will still execute as a normal command, right? So I can insert multiple characters like this and make sure the command is not recognizable. If I type this, you can see still it continues to work. Uh, there are some selected characters. For example, you can use the double quote and it still works. And that is one type of character insertion. If I give another example, I'll try a command like this. Let's try ipconfig and at the same time, I'm going to direct listing. Now, these are not malicious commands. I'm just showing you how to add additional characters like this and obfuscate this. So we before ip command and the dir command running at the same time. And again, I'm going to use the obfuscation characters. Okay, and I'm going to use quotation this, this, and you can use parentheses to use this, one. right? So sometimes you'll get stuck, so you have to test out this before. Okay, and right, so I'm going to use two things over here. Oops, and I'm going to use just to check this one if it's working, testing my lack over here. For some reason it's not working. Yep, you can get the DR commands. So this is not a normal command, but you can still run it. So in the next example, what we are going to see is a more advanced type of obfuscation using DOS. We'll do a type of reverse engineering, so we'll learn on the way what's happening in the code and what techniques they used. So all of the techniques that you can learn how to use this, more details are available on this FireEye white paper where it's talking about obfuscation, especially the methods that I discussed, such as the character insertion obfuscation. And you can see more examples are given, something like these things. You can see how they have hidden the PowerShell coding and how they use uh, like parentheses in more advanced ways. So you have a lot of options, okay? Just try these out and you'll, you won't believe the techniques that are used to hide DOS commands. So most of these uh, DOS fuscation we have seen is inside uh, malicious documents, something like Microsoft Word, they have macros. So we, they have the VBA script, which can execute a shell script. So most attackers, what they do is they DDoS fuscate the code inside the VBA and uh, run the shell command. So if somebody is analyzing code, it'll, it makes them very hard to detect what type of a thing is executed. Right? I'm going to use a sample from hybrid analysis that I found. So uh, here a user has submitted a doc file, which is malicious. And let's see, uh, hybrid analysis is a good tool to do your reverse engine. It's an online tool. Uh, just remember, they will take a copy of your file. So if you're uploading sensitive files, think twice, right? Uh, okay, so this is the uh, thing in hybrid analysis that you can see. Uh, so when the process is opened, you can see WinBird is opening. It is running this DOS command. So cmd slash c and this particular command. Okay, so we are interested what is happening in this command. I'm going to load this. Okay, so this is the command actually that has been executed. Copy this and we'll go into Cyberchef. Okay, so I'm going to input my command over here. So let's see uh, what is this code running. So the first thing that I can know is I know there's a uh, unwanted character like the create. So I'm going to remove that from output. So you can easily use the find and replace function. 
and uh, I'm going to use this and I'm going to select the escape character and you can see our command got executed to make the code more clear uh, you have option called the syntax highlighter right so our enigma machine is working and yep uh, I think it has identified the command and the executing payload in other colors but this is not what I want I want to show you uh, exactly what are the DOS commands used in this obfuscation so if I select DOS from this list yep now you can see the code clearly now what we have seen in DOS obfuscation is the same code is used over and over again with minor changes so if you see this there's a chance you might see a similar thing in another example that you might encounter so in this example they are using the set variable set variable is actually to set environment variables executing a parameter that has been set on the memory of the machine so in our set variable the variable name is 9obj so i'll just copy this and see if it has been used somewhere else and you can see uh, it has been used over here so the our first assumption is this particular code from here to this section is where the code is hidden if you are going to execute something it's in this 9 ob so 9 obj is used over here so if you see this for loop over here uh, it's starting from the character 1640 and keeping two characters uh, so the loop is like okay incremented by two and it is reading every third character inside this if I calculate the number of characters okay it's coming close to 1640 which is exactly the value that we are looking for the starting value is 1640 so it will be starting from here and it will be skipping every two characters to get the command from here. it's basically skipping two characters so we can see it's kind of skip cipher over here so now I know clearly that the set variable has the DOS command or the command that is being executed. I need to concentrate only on that. So I'm going to remove all the other stuff and going to deobfuscate that particular code. Okay, so let's copy the code from the bottom. So this is the for loop and this is the code that I'm inserting here. And so 9obj is my variable as you can remember. I'm going to cut this code. Okay get this and paste it over here so this is the code that we have first of all remove the escape character again find and replace okay and i'm going to uh, make sure escape character is there make sure this is string and now you can see we have a clear version now in the loop we saw that it is starting from here and it is ending here but it skips every two characters so we can also go backwards to make life easy we will reverse the string so we can go forward so reverse this string now you can see we have to go from here skipping every two characters now i have to do this advanced selection so i'm going to take the help of regular expression so learning regular expressions will help you a lot in these type of situations so let me show you a regular expression that i'm going to use here so regular expression okay right so it's very easy you can select characters by pressing the dot and you can see easily it selected a character and i'm going to use this regular expression and it is selecting the first character it's creating character groups of three characters next what i'm going to do is over here i'm going to say list capture groups Ah, now you can see we can see a clear thing called PowerShell so now we know a payload is trying to do something with the PowerShell script but it's in vertical how do you make it horizontal now remember there is a enter character over here we have removed that go to find and replace and make sure you have extended methods slash n which will give you the code very clearly. So this was the code hidden inside 
our dos plus gated code okay to make it more beautiful i used this earlier i used the syntax highlighter come over here and you can see it has identified it as powershell so this is the code uh, that is being executed at runtime in memory. So this PowerShell code is connecting to these domains mm -hmm. and it is delimited by uh, add character. So there are several domains it is going to connect to. Overall, we, what we can see is it's downloading a file or multiple files from these sites and it's saving that as zuw.exe. This is a dropper type of a malware where it actually executes and drops a malware into your machine. So this is how opening a Word document can be not safe. Okay, right. Uh, you can do some more uh, things from this. Uh, for example, if you want, if you're going to create a report, if there are like a lot of domains inside this, you can, so if you want to extract the URLs from this side, you can use the URL function, extract URLs, right. This will be very easy. The thing is the URLs are like, delimited by add character so you can use a split function over here hmm. so i have specified the split character at so here we go these are the domain names that has been identified as malicious and you can start blocking them to make sure these are not accessible by the users so that's dustfascation so if you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.